Today's episode is sponsored by Omaze, which we'll explain more about later on in this episode. Hey you, you're hiding in the moss. Come with us. Come on this adventure. To the hoe. Not the hoe, the hoe's the <laughs> rainforest. <laughs> Can you hear that? Whoa. You're not gonna believe who we found hanging out on the side of the road. We're Brittany and Drew, and we've been exploring the world by van for the past six years now. And this is our home, Spirit. So click subscribe, and let's see where this wild and wonderful adventure takes us all. Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And now it's time to enjoy the show. I had to show you guys these trees. It kind of looks like Chewbacca trees. It must rain here a lot and therefore this moss just continuously grows. How cool. It's like the Grinch moss. Yeah. All right, to the beach we go. A little rain dance. It's raining man. Hallelujah. I'm tired in this rainy weather. I know. I feel like a wilting flower. <laughs> You're my beautiful flower. That's not wilting. Aww. Beach day. <laughs> it feels far from a beach day right now. You're not going to believe who we found hanging out on the side of the road. Sasquatch. Practicing safe social distancing out here. How you doing, buddy? Feeling a little lonely out here? I'll keep you company. Okay, we got to go now. <laughs> No. Closed? We did not expect this. It's the end of the road for us. It's closed? Yeah, so we'll just turn around. All right, thank you. Thank you. Lots of areas of the park have been closed due to COVID and trying to keep the Native American tribes safe. But Which is important. It is, but we didn't think that this one was closed. We were not told that La Push was closed. Yeah, even from the screenshot I took on the board at the visitor center, it did not show this was closed. Well, oh. luckily we caught wind that Third Beach was open. You see those? Those are beautiful mushrooms being illuminated. Wow, they're so gorgeous and they go all the way up the tree. This tree is glowing and it's covered in a green fuzzy moss, just like everything else in here. What do you find? Count Dracula's home. Look in here. Whoa, it's like the rib cage of the tree. Little oh. igloo. Cool. We're on the two mile trail to Third Beach. Can't wait to see what it's like. It's I'm just to... really happy that there's some access to get to the coastline. We're not totally cut off. As we make our way to Third Beach, we wanted to take a minute and tell you about the rad sponsor of today's video, Omaze, who has given you the chance to win your very own fully restored vintage 1973 International Scout II and $20,000. Customized by Bulletproof Restorations, it comes upgraded with modern amenities like air conditioning and heating, lucky you, a rear tire swing arm, removable hardtop, fun, LED lighting, and it even has a more powerful and efficient fuel injected engine. Plus, they're throwing in $20,000 cash for you to spend however you'd like. National Parks Road Trip anyone? Our favorite part, though, is that every donation will support the Pediatric Cancer Program at the Monroe Corral Junior Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, allowing skilled researchers to pursue exciting discoveries in basic and clinical science. 
ultimately leading to better methods of disease prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. So for your chance to win this fully restored 1973 International Scout II Classic, along with $20,000 cash, all while supporting the Monroe Corral Jr. Children's Hospital, go to amaze.com forward slash Mr. and Mrs. and get that much closer to living this beautiful dream today. Mesmerizing, right? Foggy, magical. Wow, look at the size of these. Oyster mushrooms. They're so hard. It's wild, like elephant feet. The beach. It's like really hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is really warm. We're gonna have to shed some layers. Weird. I'm roasting. Let's get down here and see how the water feels. We're at a beach. Ah! Run! <laughs> Look at that. How's the temperature? It's like coldish, but if I had my bathing suit on, I'd go. There's a bunch of people out here sunbathing. I did not expect it to be sunny and warm. This is the first blue sky we've seen since arriving to the Olympic Peninsula with all the smoke. Like... I think we made it for the perfect timing of the sun so we could have blue skies for a few minutes. You can see it changing. Whoosh. Going right to the east. Olympic National Park is a place where ocean meets forest and the whole earth seems to rejoice in this union. After that, we decided to call it a day and found a cozy spot in the National Forest right along the river to make our home for the night. And that next morning, we awoke to yet another rainy day. But it was just what we needed to explore the rainforest. It might be a cloudy morning, but that doesn't really matter when you're going to the rainforest. It's kind of always rainy and cloudy. And it's so beautiful. We had to pull over to stick the GoPro on. Even just the drive is like nothing else we've it's ever mind seen. mind-blowing. Yeah, these fuzzy green arms popping out of all the trees and just moss dangling. and They kind of look like pipe cleaners, all the little furries hanging off the branches. They do. I can only imagine how beautiful it's going to be when we get to the actual hub. The cutest little entrance station. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Okay. Investing in an annual pass is one of the best things you can do when traveling the U.S. Even if you just go to like two parks. Plus, it's a great way to support your parks. It's just the best. We're in. We're in the park. We parked at the visitor center and geared up for our 10-mile day along the Ho River Trail all the way out to Five Mile Island. And we're off. And we're walking. <laughs> Bye, Spirit. Into the forest we go. Into one of the finest examples of a prime evil forest. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's a little mini spirit. It's a miniature guy. It's like their whole butt got cut off. <laughs> Too bad we can't make it all the way to Glacier Meadows or beyond. That would be cool. We'd have to sleep over, which would be fun, but we couldn't get a permit. It'd certainly be nice to do a backpacking trip and get out of the van for a couple nights, but just not in the cards right now. To the hoe. Not the hoe, the hoe's the rainforest. <laughs> Interesting fact, back in 1982, this park had 266 glaciers. And then in 2009, it has only, I think, 186 recorded. So now, like 11 years later, I'm curious what that count would be. 13 rivers ring around the glacier-capped peak of Mount Olympus, the highest point in the park. They bubble beneath untouched groves of red cedar, western hemlock, and giant Sitka spruce that are blanketed in moss. This is one of the few temperate rainforests left in the entire world, and it drinks in around 200 inches of rain each year. 
This couldn't be any more polar opposite than those high alpine mountain views we were on just on the other side of Washington State here, like the Cascades and Rainier. Show them this tree. There is so much moss that it looks like a blanket just draping these branches. It's like a liver. A brain. Do you bring your onions? <laughs> I think it's moving. <laughs> How you doing? You just disappeared into a tree. This is crazy. I'm literally looking up into the tree. Pop out. I'm in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> you can see up in there. You are a fairy. <laughs> I could live in that tree. Call you Pixie. Sweet like the candy. <laughs> Pixie sticks. These green roots coming off these trees look like feet. Imagine if there's like a huge giant in the sky and this is his leg coming down with his feet. Wow. Isn't that cool? Those are some gnarly toes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you see? Is it a coyote? I think it's Sasquatch. There's too much moss in here to tell. <laughs> Can you hear that? I can't see them right now, but oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I didn't think we were going to see them. Whoa. It was a Roosevelt elk, and they were like a main reason why they made Olympic a national park. So cool. I think. Yeah, they're trying to find them too. These elk, named in honor of Teddy, who helped ensure their protection back with the establishment of the park in 1932, are the largest variety of elk in North America and can weigh up to 1,100 pounds. That's the size of nearly two fully grown cows. They also play a crucial role in the life cycle of the forest by clearing its understory. They actually almost named Olympic Elk National Park. There, look. She didn't pop her head up. That was perfect. Couldn't have been a better shot. Look at her. Look. Hey. Oh. oh, hello. Hi. So cute. Here's what Brittany's looking at with the binoculars right now. Call me six eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like puffed candy corn. Wow. So unreal. I wonder if those are poisonous or not. Can you see that? Those are rain droplets being collected and suspended by a spider's web. Wow. That is really extraordinary. You look so little compared to these trees. I think these trees are like thousands of years old. Yeah, I think so. It's primitive forest. Yeah. I think there's licorice plants in here, but it smells so good in the air that you don't want to stop inhaling. It's just like candy. Like, I feel like we are in nature's candy store right now. It's just like... Like sugary pine... Yeah. Vanilla flowers. That's a good description. <laughs> Look at him. He's coming straight for you. Whoa. He's gonna crawl into the camera. He's got a lot of legs. Oh, there he goes. Good eye, babe. You wanna step on him. Whoa. This is <sighs> I think this is gonna be where we let you guys go. I'm ready for lunch. Is anybody else ready for lunch? We we basically took you guys to every place that was open. 
yeah. in this park. Yeah, we've been all around the Olympic Peninsula with you guys from beaches to mountaintops to fighting the smoke in the air, which speaking of smoke. There is none today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's actually gotten it's remarkably like a lot better. Ooh, there's yeah. a bug in my ear. <laughs> it's really enchanted in this primeval forest and just so much to look at, so much to just bring a smile to our faces. It's magical. It is very magical. Yeah, and we've really enjoyed being able to take you guys with to yet another national park this summer. Yeah or I guess fall now. Uh, we see the leaves starting to change colors and it is so beautiful to yeah. see. If you guys have been watching this whole summer, we've taken you from California and Big Bear out in 29 Palms up to through Arizona, up to Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, Yellowstone, Glacier, Cascades. And now here. Rainier and now here. And we would have gone to Quinault too, but we are being called further south yeah. at this time. The rains are coming. So if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, tap that like button because it helps YouTube rank us so we can have a larger community of you beautiful people. Yeah, or I like and to say, smash that like button. <laughs> and tap that bell, ding, because ding. that's how we pop into your home screen on YouTube. Sending you many positive vibes for the week ahead and we'll see you next Adventure Thursday. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to check out omaze.com slash Mr. and Mrs. for your chance to win. See you next time.